Hello world, Shotgun here, back with another video. Now in this video, we're going to talk about another utility like Social Engineering Toolkit that is often used for credential harvesting and website cloning. So we're going to have a look into a couple of phishing emails um, that I've got uh, in my mailbox and we'll see what he does and I'll show you guys why you should never click a link on your email and how easy it is to steal your password. So let's get started. So this three emails. So they're, they're all from Amazon. Uh, so I've flagged these emails. Some of them are orange, some of them are red. Now the red ones are the ones um, that are phishing and the orange one are just a scam spam with the links and stuff. So uh, they're supposed to be from Amazon emails. So here are the signs of the phishing email. How to spot a phishing email. First thing first, look at this thing. They try to make it look like it's from Amazon because at the end it says Amazon.com and people often seem to think hmm yeah okay that's that looks like a legit amazon email some of the two address look at that is amazon at csinfo.com now it's not from amazon.com it's from csinfo.com where your username is just an amazon same with this one it's service that after it's not even hiding it <laughs> it's legit there like what a joke you didn't even try now this one it says amazon amazon at admin.co.france. france now this one looks a little bit legitimate what i want to tell you guys is never click on the you know the update now button any of the links in this email right so let, let's just launch our Kali Linux um, and then we'll open this mail we'll send these files over to Kali and we'll open this in sandbox environment to see um, if there's anything sus going on there if it's functional we'll see what it does if it's not that's okay as well we know it's a scam email we know it's a phishing email Right, so that's my Kali machine, so I'm just going to drag and drop this one here. Uh, this one goes over here, and this one goes over here. So we're going to have a look at all of these one by one. I don't think it worked, okay. There you go. All of them are PDF file. Uh, now look at that, it's a hyperlink. And it takes me to grandforks.cmail19.com and some of the weird URL. What happens if I click them? Okay, now it's already been taken down, good thing. So Google is really fast with, you know, blacklisting this thing. It often tells you that some of these links are suspicious, but you know, you have to be extra careful. You can't rely on browser to tell you, um, you know, if any link is legit or not. Um, so let's see if this one's working. Viki.com slash away.php. Uh, what's in this one? It looks like it's trying to load and it is not working. It's taken now as well. Good. Uh, which was the last one? That one, right? Login. And thanks to God, that one's taken down as well. Now, it's super easy to tell that this is efficient because right off the bat, you can see there's a grammatical error. It says, we took this action, the billing information you provided. Where's the because? Um, so it's missing a couple of things. I can clearly see um, some of the issues with this one. Uh, please verify now with the billing address. You can clearly tell, but you don't have, you know, if you don't just check the email and just click on update now, then you're screwed. <laughs> uh, come with the verification process within 24 hours. We ask that you not open new account as the order you place may be delayed. Okay, so there were two errors on that one. Let's see another one. Now, this is the recent one. Your Amazon account where? Place and hold. Um, <laughs> are they asking me a question or what's going on here? This one's just uh, way beyond my level of English. I don't know what's going on here. So we took this action because the billing information. Now it's the same thing. Complete. Um, if you don't complete the verification process within 24 hours, all pending orders will be cancelled. When it says, oh, all my pending orders will be cancelled, and you go, oh, crap, like, I have ordered shit tons of things from Amazon. I don't want to reorder them again. So you just click them. Scammers, man. Scammers. Okay, now let's look at this one. We have placed our hold on your Amazon account, all pending orders. Oh, hold on okay this is good we took this action the billing information okay now this is the same one look at the error it's almost like if they're using the same template to send me an email but yeah um so if you get get this sort of emails i would be like do not click any links in an email so unless you're signing off for something and you you got sent a link and then again you have to be really careful about if it's the link from the same website let's get on to the next part of the video i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to create this sort of email how easy it is to steal a credential um, let's start with a incognito um, in a previous video we demonstrated how the smishing works 
how the attackers are able to send the you know SMS using an SMS phishing, how the attackers are able to harvest your credential using um, SMS phishing method. Now in this video, we'll have a look into an email phishing. So the process is gonna be the same, we're just gonna be using a different tool and you guys will be surprised how easy it is to create these websites to steal your credential. So please be aware. And also before I start, do not use this just to steal others' credential. It is meant to be just an educational video. Now, um, this is a tool called, um, I think it was called Black Eye before. Um, I don't know if it's still there. I think it is called Shellfish now with a P-H-I-S-H, like a phishing. Um, now, this is the default one. Now, regardless of what computer system you're in, um, could be Ubuntu, the process is pretty much the same, exactly the same, so I wanna show you. I usually um, have all my tools inside the OPT folder. For you, it could be anywhere. It could be in your desktop, it could be in your documents folder, it could be in your attack folder, whatever, doesn't matter. Now, when I go to OPT, I'm just gonna do git clone, and I'm gonna clone this. Um, just, uh, you might wanna skip this process if you're following with me, because um, it is not going to, now this one is not the one we are going to use. I'm just gonna show you why it is not working and uh, why you might want to use the other one. Well, at least it's not working for me. If it works for you, that's good. Uh, but yeah, so we've already gotten a tool. Um, it's uh, right there. Uh, where do you go? Shellfish. Now, it's different from shellfish or fish shell, uh, which is a whole another video for next day, but yeah. So we're in here, and we've got shellfish, and we'll just do sudo. Uh, shellfish.sh um, since it's a bash I think I might need to do bash and there you go and it says okay what do I want to clone and if I was to say Facebook 2 and it'll download the Angrock I just want to talk a little bit about Angrock because since it, it is using Angrock to host the file so what is it downloading Angrock is a command line tool or utility um, that, that lets you host the file um, you know, make your local host um, out of the NAT. So, um, let's say you have an Apache running your port 80, uh, but it's only accessible on your network. So you do 127.0.0.1 to access your local host. But having an Angrock uh, lets you advertise your computer local host to others. It's not just whoever is in your network or who's in your NAT accessing the file. It can be accessed by anywhere, anyone anywhere in the world. It's almost like you've hosted this file on a web server, but it is in your computer. Now, uh, this is the reason why I said, okay, do not use Shellfish, or you might not want to use Shellfish, because as you can see, it's already working. It says, okay, choose an option to download Angrock, starting PHP server. Starts the Angrock server, it sends a link to the victim. Wait, what links? What links are you talking about? Because we don't have any links. And it is waiting for victim to open the link, um, and we don't know any links, so the victims won't be able to click on the link. Um, it does have a limited. Uh, <coughs> it does have a limited, uh, you know, choices as well. So we've got Insta, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, GitHub. We'll get out of here. Um, so I'm just going to remove my shellfish. Well, you're not supposed to do. Uh, I am minus RF on you. Uh, so we use permission, but you know what? Yellow. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Okay, so we don't have shellfish now. Now what we're going to do is we will go to another shellfish modded. And hold on. It's different shell. See? This is what I was saying. It's not fish, it's fish. Okay, it's a fishing. Okay, there you go. So that's the other GitHub page by um, Abir Hassan, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correct. I'm pretty sure I butchered his whole name, but yeah. So he has compiled a little bit extensive list on that. So he's built on top of that and uh, modded the shellfish in order to have a lot of these things. It has got heaps of website. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So the process is gonna be pretty much the same. Sudo, and git clone. So you might not have to use sudo if you are not doing you know system folder if you're doing just doing it outside then you don't have to use sudo but i am using it in my system folder because all my attacks files are an opt file 
So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to use that. So you copy this link, you go here, you go to this one, you paste it, enter, so it's gonna clone the shellfish, modded version, and uh, we'll just wait. <coughs> now, here's the thing. Now, uh, this thing will still not work. Hold on, we're not going to social engineering toolkit yet. Cell, ooh, okay, what am I doing? Clear. So we'll lose sudo. So we'll change right to shellfish. Wait, is there shellfish in here? What is going on here? Okay, well, what's going on? There is shellfish, what do you mean? There you go, okay, good. Uh, clear, so we'll do sudo um, shellfish. Oh, I keep on forgetting that I have to run through the bash, but yeah, there you go. I've got heaps of website. Now we don't have Amazon over here, but we do have eBay. I don't know if it'll work, but um, you know what, let's try 15. Uh, so what do we want to run? Um, so I think localhost run and ngrok works in a similar way, but I don't know, I might be wrong, but I'm just going to go to ngrok because that's what I know. So it's going to host my ngrok in port 5555. And uh, we'll just wait. Uh, okay, no, so that's files or directory. I don't think. Oh, okay, it might not work. I don't know. We'll see. It might work, might not work because I don't think it found the the file site slash eBay. I don't think these are sites at eBay. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, now if you're on Ubuntu or Kali, uh, whatever, then I'm pretty sure it will work for you guys, but not for Mac because. This is a Mac computer. Now these files are generated for Linux. Uh, that's why the, the version of Angrock that, that it downloads is also for Linux. Uh, now in order to fix that, we'll have to go to Angrock website. So that's angrock.com slash product. And we'll go to download, download from Mac OS. So it's gonna download uh, a file. So we do have Angrock files. Now if we try to run it, um, there you go, format error, so you can't run it. Um, so we'll just do uh, sudo here. Yeah. I knew it moment, the moment I hit the anarchy. Uh, but yeah, sudo rmsrf, um, so that is removed. Drive to opt. Oh, I'm already on opt, okay. Um, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have to go inside the shellfish. Uh, okay. I'm just going to remove this one, so I'll do rm space minus rf, so since I'm on a system directory, sort of, I require a sudo permission, um, and I'll do ok, and there you go, and it is deleted, now my ngrok over here, ok, change the drive, so change the drive to downloads, yes sir, and we have, what is it called, where do you go, ngrok, there you go. Angrok stable AMD64 Diamond. So I'm just going to do unzip and uh, Angrok. So it's going to inflate the file. So there you go, that's executable. Copy this. So we'll go to um, uh, apt slash shellfish. Yep. Yeah. So there's no Angrok over here because we just deleted it. So what I'm going to do is copy. So our root directory. Uh, downloads and uh, ngrok to apt shellfish and we're just gonna ooh okay I should have done sudo every time every freaking time okay sudo copy okay there you go so there is our ngrok so now it should be able to run whatever I'm asking it to run so we're just gonna try it so we'll do sudo and we'll execute the shellfish fish uh, keep and forgetting all the time so sudo bash and we'll do sulfur dash h <coughs> now it is running let's try Netflix how about we uh, fool the user of Netflix whatever but we'd use the same generic now we've got another link so ideally we just copy this, paste it in our document. Now I'd go here 
I have this link. It's in yellow. I can't see anything, but there you go. A lot better. A lot better. Okay. There you go. So that one's going to stay over there. Now, I'm just going to go to my Kelly. Did I close my... Oh, okay. I shot my Kelly down already. Uh, come on. Oh, like this. Okay. Because I need to copy the template that they are using. Okay, so what I would do is ideally I would just... It's the Amazon logo. Copy this. All I need is this. Now, this is ideally what I would copy here. Um, I don't know. Just do something like this. Oh, it's gonna be like a really <laughs> crappiest phishing email you've ever seen, but um, uh, you know what? I'm not trying to fish anyone, so that's fine. And I would never, unless I was doing the pen testing, and my goal was to fish, uh, test this stuff for phishing, um, check if the staff would click the phishing email, then I'd do it. Uh, if not, here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do Amazon click here button and it's gonna show me the Amazon's button whatever yeah they click here to um, I don't know just just the generic click here button um, so I'm just gonna okay this one's a little bit <laughs> I know it's a look really spammy scammy whatever I just wanna illustrate what's going on okay with the watermark and everything yeah copy why not open image um, yeah sure why not it's a better image so we'll copy this open this um, so let's copy this part of the image and I'll go here I'll do this click here big one I'm just gonna click this link cut this um, insert the caption uh, what am I doing <laughs> Uh, it's hyperlink caption and I'll go to web page file and I'll paste this uh, in rock.io okay um, and I'll do file I'll do save as um, I'll go to desktop I'll do PDF um, save it now if I were to click this and go here and there it is now the, the reason that eBay didn't work was because you couldn't find the file for eBay that was supposed to be on the directory folder, but there you go. So victim IP is found. And that is my IP address. Now what I'm going to try is, I'm going to run this thing on my phone. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off so that it is not connected on the same network. I'm going to go to a Safari uh, using my data. So I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi off, um, go over here, uh, paste it. Uh, because it was already on my buffer so so it's gonna work even on my data so it's already working right now what I can do is just go to hello hello Netflix so that's my Netflix the password is very strong password one two three and if I was to sign in it would redirect me to Netflix page I've already gotten the username and password. Um, it is that easy. Now, uh, it's better than Social Engineering Toolkit because it doesn't even lead you to a dead end at the end. It redirects you to a legit Netflix page, so you don't really know you've, you've been you know, compromised at all. The one that we used in our last um, the video might have been a little bit fishy because, <laughs> since it's a phishing email now, um, it would have been a little bit fishy because in the end it took us to a page not found. But this one, Legit, just took us to a Netflix page. Now, if I was to do it on this one as well, let's see. Hello, 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 hello. Um, and the password is this, whatever. Sign in, and there you go. My account's there. My password's there. It's going to take me to a Netflix page, and it is this easy. Now, in our next video, I'm going to show you guys why you shouldn't. Um, click on the link even if it's from amazon.com and I'm going to show you how easy it is to spoof the email address I mean you can literally use Bill Gates email address to say hey I've got thousands share click on this link it is doable it, it is that easy so please be secure never never click on the link I repeat 
you could download a word file and think hey it's not an executable file it's not going to be that harmful for my computer but it is going to be trust me um, they can run a macro and then you end up getting your account compromised so it's that easy for attackers to do it so please be safe please be secure thanks heaps guys for watching now if you think i deserve a subs then chuck us a cheeky sub down there because uh, it would really hate a small content creator like me to get to you guys and uh, send me some love and support if you run into any problem trouble just comment down in the comment section below i'll try to help you guys if you have any video ideas just chuck them down in the comment section as well and i'll be more than happy to do it um, in the meantime stay awesome stay positive happy pen testing i'll see you guys in another video